Hello everyone, this is Journal Mass Communications 302. Today we'll be, we'll be discussing Edie Hirsch's view on cultural literacy. So what is cultural literacy? Cultural literacy is being familiar with common knowledge. For example, certain ideas, facts, historical data associated with this particular culture. E.D. Hirsch, an English professor, states that 66% of 17-year-olds do not know when the Civil War occurred. In addition, 50% of high school seniors do not know who Stalin and Winston Churchill are. He believes cultural literacy threatens the fabric of our history, and he blames schools. Although E.D. Hirsch has valid ideas and points, Many criticize him and believe that he has elite, elitistic views. Edie Hirsch arose into this topic by observing college students at the uh, at, sorry by observing community college students and their ability to comprehend simple passages on the Civil War. He said it was the unspoken background knowledge of blacks that black students lacked. It wasn't about the reading ability or small vocabulary. It was the lack of common knowledge that they lacked to grasp the passage. He believes that this background knowledge is essential to a student's understanding of our culture and to make decisions. However, I don't necessarily agree with him. I'm more on the side of Stephen Chun, Chundi, who states that information is retained only when the child can explicitly or implicitly see some purpose to it and place it into a context of previous learning and experience. For example, I'm a biologist, and during my genetics class that I had taken with the lab, we ended up isolating our own DNA to see where our ancestors are to track our ancestors basically and by doing this I end up learning about the migration of people throughout our history and previous before this I wasn't even really interested in it but because it was personalized to me it made me more significantly interested in it and now I have more background knowledge on um, the history of humans the history of man and how we all started from one person that they call mitochondrial Eve. To many people, this probably isn't intriguing, but for me as a biologist, it was personalized, and now I understand more history with this, and that's why I side more with Stephen Chundy. Anyways, thank you. Have a good day.